Alright, we'll see what we got going on. Got the uh, smooth wire on. It's beautiful. To this GR uh, arm up. Got Ethan up down into this Seagull. That's my T Mobile Nut. I got two phones, tether, iPhones, one on Verizon, one on ATT. So then they show up here. This is my ATT signal, this is my Verizon signal, this is my T Mobile signal. I'll do a screenshot because I don't expect you to be able to see that. And it is currently mixing all three networks. Driving 16 meg. Stream should be 8 megabit. But show zero drops and 60 FPS. Which is a new stability record for what it's got. Uh, other stuff, we got watts. 11 watts to the GLI net, and it's powering two phones. And they got probably like 10 watts going to the NCGO. Not only two watts. So, I'm going to call this a win, but let's do some tests. I'm going to unplug. The primary seems to be at and I'm guessing that's about the best signal. I'm going to unplug it entirely. So at and just dropped off. <coughs> I see the other networks seeming to take up the load. Still don't have any drops. I'm going to take a snapshot of that. I'm going to plug AT&T back in, see if it picks up. It did, came back in, had a big surge up to 20 megabit, and then back in, almost got hit. So that's looking awesome. Actually, I don't have at and but I think the primary might have been Verizon, so I'm going to pull Verizon. Pull that one off, just pop it off. So now that one's disconnected. So I've got this at and t and T-Mobile on. Give it a look. Still no drops. Still 8 meg. Plugging Verizon back in. So we're back to 3 networks. Now Verizon's back. This has been amazingly rock solid. Disconnect one more network. This is T Mobile. Coming out. And, uh, yeah, new gear. For this. I've been turning on and off the I got I got three T Mobile Vales on AT and T. And I'm like just disconnecting and reconnecting and it's balancing between them. And I'm live streaming and haven't had any drops. 